Right. So in this session, we are going to see um, how we can use uh, Thevenin's equivalent circuit or Thevenin's theorem to solve uh, unbalanced bridge circuits. Right. So hope all of you have uh, solved uh, um, balanced uh, bridge circuits, which are Wheaton bridges. Right. It is very simple to solve as you have uh, no current through the branch. But now we are going to uh, solve unbalanced bridges uh, using uh, Thevenin's theorem. Right. So um, yeah, I'll go with an example. Right. So let me draw a circuit diagram. So I have a DC battery of uh, let's say oh, sorry. Right of uh, maybe ten voltage. Right. And then I have my bridge circuit here. Right. And it is connected here. And of course, now I have a resistor which is my RL, right? So the question is, right, determine the current if my resistor values are let uh, uh, R1 is about, one is um, two ohm, right? R3 is three ohms and R, um, yeah, maybe six ohms and six ohms, right? So the ratios are not equal. So the bridge is not balanced. Now, the question is calculate the current IL, right? Using Thevenin's theorem, right? The current IL um, um, using Thevenin's theorem, right? This is very simple. So what now we can do is um, um, uh, we need to calculate VTH. Let this be point A and this is my point B, right? So my Thevenin's voltage is the voltage across points A and B. And then what we need is the short circuit uh, equivalent resistance across A and B, right? Okay, so we'll try to solve this, one, right? So first of all, let us calculate the voltages at point, right? This is point A and this is point B, right? So VTH, we need to calculate VTH, right? Which is VAB here in the figure, VAB, right? Of course, so um, I can redraw this figure uh, for, for, for simplification, something like this, right? Let me have Right, so this will be my uh, 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 simplified circuit. So minus, this is 10 V, 10 voltage. So two ohms, three ohms, six ohms and six ohms. Right, so exactly both the circuits are same. Now I have my point A here and point B here, right? So VTH is first we need to open circuit the load resistance RL, okay, let RL be 10 ohms, right? RL equals 10 ohms, right? RL equals 10 ohms. So just open circuit RL. So the circuit will be something like this and we need to calculate the voltage across points A and B. Right, look at here. So now we have 10 voltage, right? So we have a, 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 a potential divider here with three and six. Here we have a potential divider with three and, sorry, two and six. So we have two potential dividers. So simply I can write my VA as, right? So VA as, so this is just a potential divider. So if I assume my negative as zero, so this is six ohm. So six over 
6 plus 2 into 10. Right, so my VA will be 6 by 6 plus 2 into 10, which is 6 plus 2 is 8. Right, so 3 by 4 into 10, 2.5 into 3, it's about 7.5 voltages. Right, VA will be the point voltage at VA, or as you I can assume that my negative edge is grounded, right, for calculations. Right now, VB will go for VB. Again, VB is a potential divider with a, a resistor. Right, three ohm and six ohm. So now it will be six by six plus three into 10, right? So nine by six or two third into 10. So it will be 20 divided by three voltages, right? 20 divided by three voltages. So now I can write my VTH or VAB which is equal to VA minus VB, which is 7.5 minus 6.66. I could say 6.67 voltages, right? 6.67 voltages. So this could be around 183 voltages, right? 0.83 voltage. Now we'll find out the equivalent resistance, RTH, right? Thevenin's equivalent resistance, RTH across A and B. Now RTH equals, so what you have to do is you need to short circuit the source, right? So it will be short circuited and then the total resistance is across A and B. Since it is short circuited, I can assume that these two are connected in the middle and I can pull A and B apart. So I can redraw the circuit. So from A and B, I can simply pull it apart. So I have my A here. So two ohm and then six here, two, six, and then that is short circuited, right? That two, six junction is short circuited. And then I have three, six, right? So this will be my B, right? Three, six. So two, six in series, sorry, in parallel, three, six in parallel. And again, those two are in series. So this one will be two into six divided by two plus six, eight, plus uh, six into three divided by six plus three, right? Which is nine, right? 18 by nine. So two into six, 12 by eight, it becomes um, 1.5 plus, uh, this becomes 18 by nine, two, which is 3.5 ohms. Right, so we have calculated both VTH and RTH of the circuit. And now we'll apply these values in the uh, uh, Thevenin's equivalent circuit, right? Let me draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit now. Right, so the Thevenin's equivalent circuit will be, right, RTH and then VTH will be my RL, right? So the current IL will be, right? So IL will be VTH divided by RTH plus RL. So VTH, what we found is 0 0.83 divided by RTH is 3.5 plus RL is 10 ohms, right? So it will be 0 0.83 divided by 13.5 amperes, right? So simply the current through the circuit will be 0 0.83 by 13.5 amperes. So it is very simple solving 
unbalanced bridge circuits using Thevenin's theorem.